Okay, this is one of those hunts that really didn't go as planned and I was considering labeling it as one of my failed hunts but uh, due to what actually happened I changed the title of it to suit it. But the morning started as you can see uh, I'd set up my little bush chair hide. I was just camouflaging the net and to help it blend with the hedge. Put my uh, rifle which was the the BSA Super 10 John Bowcat blueprint it into the hide and uh, started out setting out my bait and I have as you can see a dead magpie as a decoy set up in a cradle. Now I've used this set up dozens and dozens of times and I have shot anything from one to I think uh, eight or nine birds in the morning on this if you have the patience to sit but this morning just didn't quite go to plan I've tried here before a time or two and it never seems to work quite well even though I know there's a lot of magpies in the area but they seem to prefer feeding on whatever meal and that they can find around the farmyard now the farmyard is behind the camera about a hundred yards away so I'm right there the magpies will find this very quickly because I'm right beside where you would find a lot of the magpies through the day anyhow. So it looked as if this should work. But best laid plans and so forth. But once the, the bait and the uh, decoy was set out, got back into the hide and it only took about 10-15 minutes before the birds started to really respond well. And I got the first opportunity within range. And dropped him with a nice clean headshot at about 30 yards. And again from uh, the little action camera I have set up. bang, down he goes, Bob's your uncle. But, if you look at the electric pole in the background, I have another visitor, a buzzard. Now I can't see the pole from where I'm at because of the amount of undergrowth and trees that were growing, but this was keeping the rest of the magpies quite active and vocal. Only for the bird to swoop down and uh, land beside the magpie I just shot. Now before anybody goes mad on their keyboard this is known as a common buzzard in the UK it is a member of the bird of prey family and no you cannot shoot it as all birds of prey are protected through law in the UK. And he says to himself I'm having that, that's mine, thank you very much. Now as you can imagine this drives the rest of the magpies clean mad and I'm not that worried this has happened quite a few times before and it actually can give you an opportunity if birds land on the ground to try and put the buzzard off uh, and you get a clean shot at them away from the buzzard it can you know, act as a live decoy really. But in this instance, it didn't really work that way. The bird stayed in the air or in the trees behind me. And the magpie, or sorry, the buzzard finally decides I'm going to make a getaway with this. But he doesn't get too far and lands about 40 50 yards up the field. Now, as you'll see, one of the other magpies decides to come down to the bait at this point. I get the camera in on him. Now, the buzzard's still in the background. I didn't notice this at the time, where otherwise I probably wouldn't have taken this shot, but the buzzard's perfectly safe, I'm sure. As you can hear, I got a really good solid thwack. I seen the pellet go towards the bird's head, heard the th good solid thwack, and the bird flies off. I'm going to myself, what on earth happened here? I could not believe that the bird actually flew off.
After a little while, the buzzard must have caught his breath back and decided to fly off somewhere a little more private with his prey, taking the rest of the magpies with him. So I sat on for another hour or two, only for one of the farm cats to come dantering down the field towards me. He had a good sniff at my action camera, and to tell you the truth, I think he actually cocked his leg on it before he dandered on. Dirty beast. He totally walked by and ignored the rabbit. Maybe he didn't smell it, I don't know. But I decided to have a little fun with him, and started using some very light mouse squeaks. Now my lips were a wee bit dry, so the squeaks weren't coming out just the way I'd like them, but it seemed to catch his interest. He even started stalking in towards the hide. He's thinking to himself, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to have it for breakfast. Now whether it was because I moved the camera here, but he stalled. And no matter how much squeaking I done, he didn't want to come any closer. So I upped the tone a little. And it had the total opposite effect, and he dandered off. By this stage I was absolutely scunnered, so I decided to call it a morning. I don't like leaving things wounded if I can help it, so I had a quick look up along the far hedgerow for the bird that I struck and flew on in case it got to one of the trees before dropping, but there was absolutely no sign of it. Whether the pellet just ricocheted off the skull, I don't know. It sounded and looked like a, a good contact, but these things happen. At least the magpie I did shoot didn't go to waste. 